I'm going to share my evening skincare routine and I'm going to show you what I put on my skin and why I do it and what I've stopped doing. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. Today I'm going to share with you all the things I do for my skin at night before I go to bed. My skincare routine has changed quite a bit over the last six months and I wanted to share with you what I do now and how I've reduced so many things that I do. And even though I've reduced a whole lot of steps, my skin is in really great condition and I'm saving money and I'm saving time. The purpose of all of my skincare pretty much is to help with the aging process, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and to get rid of my dry skin. So I learned a couple of months ago from Will Fennell, who's a skincare expert, and what I learned from Will was to take it easy. I think I was doing too much. I was adding too many steps, and my skin was kind of irritated. And I took Will's advice. So at night now, I only do three steps, and I was probably doing five or six, depending on what products I was trying. Will said to keep things simple, cleanse, serum or treatment and then moisturize and that's it so i was doing lots of serums and layering my serums so i thought that when i started doing this i might get a negative result because i wasn't adding as much to my routine but the opposite has happened and i'm really happy with this and it's saving me money so at night i do a double cleanse so i cleanse my makeup first i'm using the biodroga cleansing oil and he recommends using an oil cleanser for women in our age group you know if you're over 50 and your skin's dry an oil is the perfect solution for that and so i cleanse and take off my makeup this product here and other cleansing oils will take your mascara off as well so that also saves you money I've used the simple cleansing oil as well, which is very good and inexpensive. So you take your eye makeup, the whole lot off. Once it's off, you put more cleanser on, rub it in and do it again. So your skin's very, very clean. Then after I cleanse, I always use my hyaluronic acid to bring the moisture out in my skin. And then I leave my skin for about 30 minutes to let all of that soak in and start working. And then every second night i use my retin a i use the steeva a and this is really inexpensive it's prescription and it's 23 dollars here in australia but this is a 0.05 percent and i put that on my skin only a tiny bit about a pea size on my skin and i put it all over my face i rub it in and then i let that dry and then on top of that after another 30 minutes, I'll put on a barrier cream or a moisturizer to lock everything in. So when I'm sleeping, everything's locked in and all the work can be done. A lot of people will tell you not to put a moisture over your Retin-A. That's okay, I did used to do it that way. And when you don't put moisture on, the Retin-A is able to work a lot quicker and your skin will start flaking and it's doing its job. But because I've been using it for quite some time and I've learned the reason why you put the moisture on is to lock everything in and everything can work, that has just worked so beautifully for me. So at night on top of my Retin-A, this is every second night, I'll put a medical barrier cream. I use the Epions or I have just started using the Biodroga Golden Cream. This is so luxe and so beautiful and it, it feels like velvet when you put it on your skin and I love this. They're the two ones that I use but Will did say any good barrier cream is okay to use. You don't have to go and spend the big bucks on lots of potions and creams because as long as you've got good quality ingredients, I'll leave a link to a couple that he suggested that you could use. And every morning when I wake up, my skin feels really good. It feels like it's been working overnight to repair itself, which it has because I'm using the Retin-A. And every second night when I'm giving my skin a rest from the Retin-A, I use my Vitamin C from Neod. This one is the L-Absorbic Acid 30%. And 
this one here will give you a little tingle so first I double cleanse make my skin clean add the hyaluronic acid wait a little bit and then I'll go in with my vitamin C and then wait another 30 minutes so everything's working and then on top of that I'll add a barrier cream so my evening skincare routine has reduced a lot and I'm still getting really great results I'm going to continue doing it like this for about six months and then I'm going to add in a couple of the ingredients that I took out to see if it makes a difference and if it doesn't make a difference I'm just going to stick to this routine because it works and it's no fuss and that's what I love about it. I'm getting my anti-aging ingredient doing all the work and then I'm adding moisture and I'm locking everything in and I'm doing the best that I can to get rid of my dry skin and then I wake up and it feels really good. Although this is a really simple skincare routine, it keeps my skin glowing and that's what I love. And another thing that I've stopped doing is using eye cream in the morning and in the evening and I used to swear by my eye cream I used to buy the Ella Bache, uh, eye cream and it was like a lanolin so it was very moisturizing and luxurious and I didn't think that I could ever live without it because I thought my eyes would be too dry but since I've started doing this and I use the hyaluronic acid up here and I use my beautiful moisture cream up here as well and it does the job of eye cream and my eyes did used to get dry and now they don't so whether it's these ingredients I don't know but I've saved on that and the other two things I do once a week is apply a mask a moisturizing mask and I use a derma roller and I'm going to show you how to use a derma roller but I'm going to get somebody who's an expert to show you how to do that because I don't want to be giving you that advice on my own because it is putting needles into your face but I have the perfect person to teach us how to do that properly so that our skin doesn't get hurt or broken or angry please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with all of your friends thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week